this is Party Dude 17 with another video for your face, Party Dude 17 style. And today I'm actually going to be uh, reviewing a console, one of my favorites of all time, the PlayStation 2. Uh, uh, so, uh, this system was released in. Uh, March of 2000 in Japan and uh, October of 2000 in North America. Uh, it was released by Sony as a follow-up to the wildly successful PlayStation. And uh, and I think the and I think. Um, most games for uh, the system run at 480p, and uh, it used uh, DVDs instead of CD-ROMs to uh, as a software. In fact, uh, in the Brazilian market, there was even a Netflix DVD that you could buy. As for memory, uh, they would use uh, memory cards, like this right here. Usually they could store around, like, usually they store around uh, 8 megabytes. Which at the time, I guess, was a lot. Because the PlayStation 1 uh, had memory cards that were... Pretty much identical looking, except maybe uh, a little more gray. And those held around uh, 128 kilobytes, but so this is, but you could also, uh, in the back, there's a, an expansion port where you could put stuff like, uh, hard drive which could store a lot more data as for uh, the controller they are pretty similar for, to uh, the PlayStation 1 this is a PlayStation 1 controller in fact they use the same type of controller port so uh, whenever I play a 3D game for the PlayStation 1 I usually use a PlayStation 2 controller because the PlayStation 1 controller isn't really built for 3D gaming. I mean, yeah, there's the DualShock, but I don't actually own the original DualShock, so I use a, a PlayStation 2 controller. <coughs> and, uh... There's also uh, two USB ports in the front. This uses the uh, same power supply as the original PlayStation. And, uh, it's all and, uh, yeah, that's basically the technical aspects, however, however, a game system is nothing without games, and the PlayStation 1 had some pretty good games, but the PlayStation 2, in comparison, had amazing games. Uh, some amazing games for the PlayStation 2, uh, or some of my favorites that I like to play, are uh, Katamari Damacy, which is the uh, first game in the Katamari series, uh, Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1, and there's a couple Sims games on there but yeah that's basically the playstation 2 now do i recommend you get it yes yes a million times over because well actually i don't recommend you buy this a million times but i would say a million times a million times because of how great this system is in short, the PlayStation 2 is an amazing system. 
that I totally recommend you get. And if you don't have the money for a PlayStation 2, uh, it's always emulation, which, uh, I know it's kind of a huge taboo in the gaming world, but so what? If you don't have a PlayStation 2, you could emulate it. But keep in mind, uh, while you can emulate PlayStation 2 games, you can't really emulate the experience of having a PlayStation 2. So yes, I do love the PlayStation 2. It is, uh... One of the greatest, if not the greatest, video game console of all time. And, uh, I'm not the only one thinking this because, I mean, it sold 155 million units, making it the, the most popular video game console of all time based on, uh, units sold. Anyway, Party Dude out. And I would give the PlayStation 2 an 8 out of 10.